From the William H. Pitt Center in Fairfield, Connecticut, this is Northeast Conference Basketball. Today, the reigning league champs come to town looking to keep their perfect conference record intact and secure their spot in the 2020 NEC Tournament. It's the Robert Morris Colonials and the Sacred Heart Pioneers. Bella Posset getting it to Ikematsu in the right corner. Back up top to Posset. Posset in the paint, penetrates, gets it on the baseline. Back out to Ikematsu for three. Feeding it inside to Azebo. Azebo up and in off the window. Timeout, Sacred Heart. A 9-0 run by the Colonials here in the first two minutes, 20 seconds. Now here's one area where you look at the numbers and you say, uh-oh, is a three-pointer by Olivia Dabney off the timeout gets Sacred Heart on the board. Trying to find Ozzy Mamadou inside and Mamadou drops it in. It's a 20-8 Robert Morris lead. The penetration by Dabney, off her dribble, back outside to Nikki Johnson, the redshirt junior from Parsippany. Dabney, a line drive three-pointer from the left corner, it's good. There's Olivia Dabney looking for somewhere to go, gets to Nikki Johnson, Johnson a deep three from straight away. Quick inbounds back outside the perimeter. They feed Azebo down low, and when she gets it that close to the basket, it's nearly automatic. So get better. Good luck to you, Sal. Uh, we miss you on the court. But you know what? Your son's doing a pretty good job. <laughs> no kidding. A three ball from the top of the key. It's good for Esther Castillo. The sophomore from Spain delivers. Castillo will bring it all the way back out as Robert Morris takes time off the clock here. Under 10. There's Augustin. Getting it back to Castillo. Castillo from inside the perimeter. Castillo starting to heat up. And then the higher seeds get home court advantage. So every game is big in conference play in this, in this league. Nina Augustin runs the baseline and finds Natalie Villaflor for the 16-foot jumper. But concentrate more on what you do. You know, you could spend all day talking about the 10 players that, again, I'm using this term a lot, have, are productively playing. And uh, you can't do that. Good, good for Can Goody. She's been knocked around a couple of times, got hit in face, showed a little frustrated, frustration, but uh, able to finish looking for the three, old-fashioned three-point play. She's had a couple of blocks. She's made some big plays. You mentioned it. Things have gotten physical for her. And there she is, drawing the foul, and she'll have a chance to go to the line, collecting the loose ball. Shot clock turned off. And, well, NEC University might want to sit down for this. This is some breaking news. Robert Morris is going to the NEC <laughs> tournament. <laughs> 24th time in history, 15th in the last 16 years, and for the seventh straight season, the Colonials are the first to punch their ticket into the NEC tournament. They go to 11-0 for a second straight season, and so the legend and the streak continues for Robert Morris as they come to Fairfield. Only a 29-point victory here today, 67-38. to 16-6 go the Colonials. Again, a perfect 11-0. They win their 11th straight game. Sacred Heart, they fall to 8-14, 5-6. They've lost three in a row. They will host St. Francis U here at the Pitt Center on Monday. 15 points for Neka Azebo, 11 rebounds, a double-double for Irayazi Mamadou, 13-10. And, and Nikki Johnson led the Pioneers in scoring here today, along with Olivia Dabney. Each player had 10 points. Dabney a rebound shy of a double-double, 10 points and nine rebounds. Robert Morris pulling away in that second half. Shooting 39% while holding Sacred Heart to a 25% shooting percentage. Right now, we're gonna send it over to the sideline where Joe DeSantis is standing by with the head coach of the Robert Morris Colonials, Coach B, Charlie Buscaglia. Charlie, you're 11 and 0 in the conference, okay? Your team relies on our depth. Did this game pretty much go the way you wanted it to go? Well, there was a lot of mistakes early on. I give Sacred Heart a lot of credit. They're banged up and, you know, they came out, they played really hard, Just got them really ready to play. And, you know, that's going to happen, and we got to respond, and we had some good responses. We definitely had a lot of adjustments to make at halftime, but our depth definitely helped that we were ready to come off the bench and continue to contribute. As the game went on, you know, obviously we got better, and that's what I like to see. Talk about that two-headed monster you have in the five spot with Azebo and uh, Ozzy Mamadou. Well, you know, 
if we can get consistency, you know, that's the key with them. We can't have one up and one down and just consistent efforts. And today there, there was a consistent effort. We got off to finishing well around the basket. That really set the tone. We needed the guards to contribute more with hitting shots and playing with a better pace. We got that later, but they definitely set the tone early on. It's nice to be scoring around the basket that early in the game, high percentage shots. And then as the game kind of developed, we got better. Good stuff. Good luck the rest of the way. Okay, thank you. We have here um, probably the best post player in the conference, okay? Uh, you and your teammate, Ozzy Mamadou, you're terrific as a two-headed monster. I was told by Coach on the phone last night that you were a little raw. Is that true when you first got here? Yeah, when I first came in, I only had like two, three moves in rotation, and I kind of just, you know, took my strength as an advantage and tried to work with that, to be honest. Yeah, that's hard to believe. You've come such a long way that probably has to do with a lot of the hard work and maybe the coach is working with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did a lot of extra work and lots of extra hours in the gym working on post moves. We start from basics, like ABC moves. Like, we've done a lot of work on <laughs> post moves and shooting from mid-range. Well, you're 11-0. You clinched the playoff spot. How do you feel about this team the rest of the way? I feel very confident with this team. Like, we come to work every day. We have a lot of confidence and trust in each other. So I feel like that's going to take us a long way. Well, I enjoyed watching you, and good luck the rest of the way. Okay, Craig, back to you, buddy.